When starting an online business, at some point you're going to have to create something, whether that be a social media post, a logo, or a lead magnet. And from the outside looking in, you might think you need to hire a graphic designer or be a graphic designer yourself, but that's not the case. Canva was seriously my saving grace when starting my own online business. I have my laptop here and I'm gonna start sharing my screen and showing you exactly how to even start a design on Canva. So as you can see, this is the Canva home screen and there's a lot of different directions you can go. But the very first thing I'm gonna show you is actually on the top right hand side, you will see something that says create a design. That is the easiest and most obvious place to start when creating a design on Canva. If you click that, you will see lots of different suggestions and we're just gonna search here at the very top, whatever it is we're wanting to create. I'm gonna go basic and just put Instagram post. You can also see here that that is actually one of the suggestions as well. So if I type in Instagram post, or actually just Insta, you're gonna see a lot of different types of suggestions here. You can see even with these certain suggestions that you can get very specific with your search. Say you are doing a holiday themed Instagram post, you could type in Christmas Instagram post and you'd be able to find a lot of templates based on that theme. So we're just gonna click Instagram post. And as you can see, it started a blank design. Here on the left hand side, you're gonna find search templates. So for a beginner, this is perfect for you. And if you have a specific thing in mind, say you're wanting to create a tweet graphic. You can just type in tweet, actually probably just tweet, that would be fine, but you could also type in tweet graphic. And you're gonna see a lot of different templates based on that search result. So find one that you think fits you the most as far as style goes. Uh, let's go back up to the top here and let's select this one right here. So as you can see, the template is just basic information, some random person, and it even says really great site as far as the Instagram handle and website. But you can of course personalize all of that to fit you and your brand and your business. So we're gonna go back to the home page now and we'll talk about the design part here soon, but we're gonna go back to this main page and I wanna show you at the very top you see search Canva. Up here you can literally search anything you want and we're gonna do and stick with Instagram post again and I wanna show you what happens here. You can create a blank Instagram post here, but it also just shows you tons of different templates that you can choose from. All of these are really cute. You can also go over here on the left hand side and there are filters. So if you want to filter it by theme, style, color, whatever it might be, you can do that here. So that is a second way that you can start a design on Canva. But of course, yes, there is one other way. So we're going to go back to the homepage. So this is a way that I've used a couple times in my business when I wasn't sure what size of design to create. If you go to create a design, first of all, you can do a custom size. So if you know exactly the specs of the design you want to create, you can go right there. You can also do edit photo or import PDF. So importing a PDF, you can then add to that PDF, simple as that. And with editing a photo, I find this one really awesome because if I am not sure, say, what size I want my logo to be, but I found somebody out there who has this perfect logo at the top of their website, you can actually save that image and upload it as a photo. So for this tutorial, I'm actually gonna pull my own logo, which is just my name, and it's gonna upload it here. And then once it uploads, I'm gonna hit edit photo. So if you guys were looking for something similar, which actually let's go to my website really quick, which is under construction. So please don't judge. By the time this video goes live, it will no longer be under construction. But you can see my logo here at the top left. It's the perfect size for a website. So if you, for example, were designing a website and you weren't sure what size your logo should be for your website, you could right click here save image as and save it to your computer and then do what I just did on Canva and it will upload the image here. Then all you have to do is click delete and now you can create your own logo and it will be the perfect size for your website. So that's the third way I wanted to show you as far as starting a design. But now I wanna show you some quick basics on how you can make these designs fit your brand. So let's go back to this Instagram post template. So most likely this is not gonna fit your branding, but if you did use the top search bar and the color filter on the left-hand side, then you can find things that do fit your branding. First things first is let's talk about font. So if you wanna change the font, all you need to do is click on the text and come up here to the top left. And Canva has so many different fonts you can choose from. So you can scroll through here and find one that you feel fits your brand or your style. Or if you have a specific font in mind, you can type here 
and find it. So I'm gonna just click this one because it is a font I like to use a lot. And you can just click on all of the different text and change all of the fonts. This is one of the first things I usually do if I am using a template. Just makes everything stay on brand on my fonts. Okay, so now that all the fonts are changed and fit my style a little bit more, the next thing you're gonna do is actually change the words. In this case, I would write Shelby K, oops, reader. Same goes for this, at Shelby. Okay, reader. And then we would want to come down here as well and either remove this altogether or add your own website. Well, maybe. Okay, so now I've changed all the wording and for right now I'm just gonna leave the actual quote text because I don't have a quote in mind, but you would of course wanna change this as well and remove or change the hashtags. I'm just gonna go ahead and remove those because I don't need them. And there you go. So all the text and the font are now changed. Now you're gonna wanna change the colors to fit your brand as well. So first things first, if you click in the background, you're gonna be able to change the background color. So once you select anything that you can change the color, it's actually gonna make this little color box appear. And you can click that, and it's going to give you the colors here that are already used in the document, this little rainbow box here is how you can access the entire color wheel. I will show you this in future videos and this is something that you need Canva Pro to do, but you can actually save your color palettes here as well. And you can also go down and one of my favorite features of Canva is it actually will pull from photos that you are using in the graphic. So there is this little tiny image here and it's actually showing you colors that fit well with that image, which I think is so cool. And then at the very bottom, you see all the default colors. So these are like the primary main colors. But I'm gonna go to the top and since I am doing something for my own brand here, I'm gonna choose one of my own brand colors, which is this cute blue. And then I'm going to now select this. Now this is actually a graphic, which I'm gonna show you here in a minute, but I'm gonna select this graphic here and go back up here and I'm gonna change that to this color. I feel like that's fitting. Ooh, I like that one better. So I'm gonna use my fun yellow. Now I'm gonna go up to the right and I'm gonna change this color to this one, which I think is really cute. Now I'm gonna go ahead and change this one. I mean, I know this is a tedious process, but it's totally worth it. Okay, and I'm gonna leave those black because it fits my brand. Okay, one more thing, this little tiny heart graphic here, definitely wanna change and I'll use this pinkish tone here. Okay, so now this completely fits my own branding. I could use this on my Instagram. It's gonna flow perfect. So one other thing I really wanna show you is how to add graphics. So say you're not really a fan of these speckles. I'm gonna select it and delete it. And just keep in mind, if you use a template, you may not like any of these background graphics. You can completely remove them and add ones you prefer. And this is how you can do that. You're gonna select elements here on the left-hand side. It will show you ones you've recently used and then some basic things that it's just suggesting, probably things that are popular here in Canva. But we're gonna select search anything from Canva and let's see, I'm gonna type in X. That's kind of random, uh, but I'm gonna do graphics. And the reason I wanted to do that is because I, in my head, I was envisioning, oh, something like this actually, this is perfect. I'm gonna move this up here. You can actually select this right here move things around. You can also just select right on it and move it around. You can use this to turn things whichever direction. And then you can also use the corners to make things smaller. So I made it a little smaller, I'm moving it there, and I'm gonna change that color to black as well. Whatever fits your style, maybe you really like stars. You can type stars here at the top. And right here, actually what I did, I don't think I slowed down enough to show you guys. You can actually select photos, it's gonna show you photos of stars. You can select graphics, it's gonna show you graphics of stars. Videos, it's gonna show you videos of stars. And audio, it's gonna show you songs that maybe have that keyword used. Of course, I'll go in more detail in future videos and we'll get a bit more advanced, but for this specific video, we're keeping it simple because this is a basics video and I'm gonna show you the basics. Here are some stars and again, if stars are more your thing, you know, you can select this graphic, you can change the size, drag it around, and change it to whatever color that you like best. So there are a few other little things you might need to know. 
On the left hand side, you can see this text option here. You can actually select heading, subheading, or body, or you can even come down here to these fun font combinations. And you're just gonna wanna select whatever kind of size group you want. By the way, you can actually change these to be your own brand fonts as well, which I'll show you in future videos. Once you make a selection, you can kind of drag it to where it is you want, and then of course type here, you can expand it, make it bigger, and you can also come up here where it says font size, and you can make it bigger from there as well. And just like any kind of platform, you can change the color of text, you can make it bold or italicized, you can change the alignment, you can make it bulleted, you can even change the letter spacing and the line spacing, etc. There's also fun effects and animations you can do, but again, we're on basics, I'll show you that in future videos. So that is just something you might need to do, adding your own text. Also something you can do to add a new text box is just selecting an existing one, using Control or Command C depending on your computer, and then Control or Command V. And that is just gonna duplicate something that already exists and then you can change the words. So that is how you add new text. Another thing that you might want to know is how to upload images. Obviously, this person right here is not me. So I would go to uploads and obviously I already have images here, but if you select upload media, you can choose how to upload it or you can actually simply drag and drop like this. And here's a previous profile picture I had used in the past. You can just drag it in and drop it right in this little element, which this element, I feel like I'm gonna dive too deep, but let me show you really quick. If you go to the left-hand side again, I'm gonna remove this word and scroll down. You saw these things called frames. So this little image right here is this circle frame. So I'm just gonna select it so you can see what I'm saying. And there's lots of different frames if you hit see all. There are so many different fun shapes. If you see people using fun iPhone images and they have a screenshot of their iPhone in there, that is one way that people can do that. But going back to upload, say this image of me, I can drag it and drop. If you double click here, you can actually move this image so that it's centered. And there you go. Um, another way you can do this is by just selecting the image. Once it's actually in here, you can drag it and drop it that way as well. So once you've created your design and you're ready to put it up on Instagram or whatever it is that you're creating, you're gonna select download and it's always gonna give you a suggestion to what they recommend. And in this case, the suggestion is a PNG, which is the highest quality Canva can give you for something like an Instagram post. If you do select this file type, you can change it. And for example, if you're doing an ebook or a workbook, you might wanna choose PDF print. Same goes if you're selling art printables, you would wanna save this as a PDF print. But PNG is great for this and there are other things you can do in this download phase which I will show you at a later time and all you're gonna do is select download and patiently wait while it downloads once downloaded it will show up in your download folder so I'm just gonna open it up and as you can see our design is now here and saved and then now this file is yours to use however you want you can put it in a scheduling software like later that is my preferred method you also can download the canva app and from the app you can actually download these as well so that way it's directly saved onto your phone. Now I'm going to recommend that you watch this video next where I show you five different digital products you can create on Canva and sell. Thank you so much for watching and as always I'll see you in the next video. Bye!